Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. It's time for another episode of Scrap Mechanic Top of the Shop, the series where we take a look at the best builds from the Steam Workshop from the past week. Now, if you guys have missed any episodes of Top of the Shop, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to the playlist of this series so you guys can see more amazing builds and get more inspiration. But now, it's time to check out the best builds of the week. All right, first up, we've got the one wheel bike created by Comrade Nova. Now this looks like an interesting build. Let's see, all right, it's balancing, it's jiggling, it's doing it, it's on one wheel. All right, guys, look at this. We have a confirmed mono wheel, little mono cycle thing. It's obviously using some suspension glitch with some sensors here that are pointed on an angle towards the ground, activating those suspension glitches. All right, so let's see, we're gonna hop into the seat. Oh, look at this. We are on a little one-wheeled motorcycle thing. Let's see how it goes. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. This is actually insane. There's... It's like the suspension glitch is permanently on right now. I feel like... Are the sensors even really doing anything? Or is there, like, more of a gyro inside of this thing? So as you can see, though, it is using suspension glitch steering because it's doing this really weird thing. And I guess, how else would you do it with a single wheel? But it does seem to work pretty well. It's it's kind of unnatural to look at the way it's driving around. Like, look, we just went off of a jump. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to take this monocycle on the trip of its lifetime. Here we go. We've got this massive mountain. Can the monocycle do it, or is it going to just be this weird flat thing? Okay, look, the monocycle is adjusting. It is now going up the hill. There's even more. Okay, this is getting weird. Let's see. We're gonna keep going. Maybe if we jump? Okay, no, okay. <laughs> Never mind, there's no thrusters on this thing, so we can't actually jump. But look at this, it's not tipping over at all. So that is the one-wheeled bike. It's kind of weird. Um, it's, it's fun to drive, and it's an interesting build, but I definitely think you should check it out. Next up, we've got the Cat R3000H. Now, this is a gigantic build. This is created by Rob. Rob has made other very large industrial machines that are really, really awesome. You should check them all out. Now, this is going to be amazing. I know it. So, this is uh, some type of... Uh, what? What is it? It's a, it's a replica of a, a Cat R3000H mining wheel loader. Now, I hope where I am is going to be big enough to spawn it. Oh, yeah, perfect. This is the perfect spot to see this thing. All right, we're going to drop it off the lift. All right, so off of the lift, it is a little laggy, but I feel like once we get inside of it and lift the bucket up off the front of it there, it won't be such an issue. Now, is this... Oh, look at this. We've got a beautiful looking staircase right here. This thing is giant. Oh, wow. I love this staircase. The detail work here is absolutely amazing. Okay, now how do we get inside of this thing here? Maybe... Is there a... is there a door I'm not seeing here? So I seriously have no idea... wait, is this... What? Okay, I've been looking around trying to figure out how to get inside of this thing. Is this... Okay, hold on here. Now we've got this here made by Rob and Derniep. Okay, there we go. Credit where credit is due. And now this is all the stuff that I don't really need to mention. <laughs> All right, so I have no idea how to get inside of that driver's seat. So instead, we're going to do a quick walk around to appreciate all the detail that went into this. Now, just look at this bucket. Look at these surface panels, all of the textures, the nuts and the bolts and stuff like that. It looks absolutely amazing. I love these gigantic wheels as well. And just look at the size of these fenders. These are massive fenders here. And hold on here. What is this? I have found a switch. Don't tell me. Is this the way in? Okay. Oh, it is. Wow, look at this. I was not expecting this. The whole front end goes forward. And there it is. The beautiful front entrance to that seat. Okay, hold on. We're going to shut that down. We're going to finish the grand tour of the exterior because there is a lot going on here. Look at the back of this. We got some massive gratings here, some ventilation for this giant machine. There it is there, the R3000H. Cat. We've got more stairs here that go up onto the build. Absolutely fantastic. And over on this side, it seems like... Oh, wow, look. Okay. There's even more detail. We've got an awesome-looking fire extinguisher and some type of uh, maybe a, a tool there. Maybe that's like a, an electrician's cane, perhaps. But all right, that's perfect. We did the grand tour, and we also found how to get inside this absolutely amazing creation. All right, let's see here. We're going to use the steps. There we go. All right, here we go. We are now inside the driver's seat. We are ready 
to start using this thing. Okay, there's a lot of buttons and switches. Let's just see how easy it is. Okay, there we go. W is driving. Okay, W, A, S, and D is simple enough. We can steer the entire thing. Now, how do we get that bucket up off the ground? Oh, wow, look at that. The lights, all of the lights are on. Three and, okay, three and four is using the pistons at the front. Okay, there we go. We've got the bucket up off the ground. So that does kind of help with the lag a little bit. Uh, now, what is next? Your five. Ooh, five goes up. It's so smooth. Oh, yeah, there it is, guys. There are the Giga Pistons inside of this thing. Oh, wow. It looks so good. The the detail, like, this is... I feel like, is this a one-for-one -one replica? I'm not sure. I might be completely wrong, but this looks like not a single detail was spared. All right, so what does six do? Okay, six drops it the other way. And seven? Whoa. Seven is like a reset. Did it just reset it? Seven resets the entire thing. That is absolutely amazing. And eight? Okay, I don't know what eight is doing. And nine is probably like an emergency break or something like that. Wow, this build has so much going on. Look, let's see what's going on at the back here. Look, there's like a another fire extinguisher there. There's like giant valves and pipes, of course, for probably all of the machinery inside of it. Now, something that I didn't quite catch when I first got into the seat, this is really cool. Once I hop out of the seat, look at this, guys. The seat turns around and the door just opens automatically. I was concerned about how I was going to get out, but look at that. It's just such a simple thing. It makes it so easy to use. So I gotta say, this build is just a work of art. It deserves an award. Now, this is going to be one of the most satisfying explosions ever. And if you haven't noticed, guys, I've decided I'm just going to blow up every creation that we look at in top of the shop instead of just blowing up the last one because I feel like we just can't miss out on some of this destructive goodness. All right, let's see if we can get a really awesome cross-section of this build. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The whole chain worked, and okay, it's a little bit less of a cross-section and more of just a chunk of it, but that was cool. Alright, next up we've got a digital clock and timer. Now this was created by question mark, and it says here, read the description first in bold red lettering. We have to read the description here. It says, features, you can set your own time, you can switch between two modes, timer mode and clock mode. If something went wrong with this clock, you can reset it with the green button. How to use it? You got the green button to turn on and off the clock, I guess to also reset it. You press the dark green button to toggle the clock mode between timer and clock and you press the red button to toggle the timer mode. You need to set at least one second to toggle this mode. But here we go, we're gonna try and figure out this clock here. Okay, I'm gonna drop it off of the lift, slam on the ground. Okay, here we go, we've got this clock. Do I turn it on? Do I just like turn it on? Okay, there we go. It is now on. So the dark green mode is the selector. So I don't know what it defaults to, I maybe it defaults to a clock. So let's see here. I guess I'm going to try and set it to like 8 or something. I guess it's like a 24-hour clock. So here we go. We're going to go to 8. And that would be like 8 a.m. just like this. Now let's see. How do we just start the whole thing? So I'm pretty sure I guess it's the red button. So if I press this red button, is it going to just start counting up? Wait. Okay. There we go. Red button on. And okay. It is counting down right now. So right now it must be on the timer mode. So if we just turn it, do I just turn it off? All right, so you have to actually press the red button to stop the timer and then the green button, which will reset it. And then we can turn it back on just like so. Now, now we're going to try and swap it. Okay, there we go. So I guess now it is just rolling from, I guess, midnight. This would be like midnight and it's counting up right now. And it's just a working clock in scrap mechanics. So you can use this for challenges, if you want to time yourself with a certain amount of time for a build limit, or maybe if you're doing some type of trial or racing around a track, you could time your racing with that as well. This is definitely a very, very useful build. So I guess there's really not much more to say about the clock itself, so I figured maybe we can just sit here and appreciate it and like look at the logic, and maybe we'll just kind of wait until one of these ones change over here. I think that would take much. I guess that's about, that's one hour. Well, I guess it's actually 59 minutes. All right, so there we go. We are now just about 50 seconds away. So, I mean, I think it was probably worth me recording the entire 59 minute. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I set the timer. Did I trick you? Maybe I tricked you, but nonetheless, 
this creation is absolutely amazing. It's really cool. You should definitely check it out. Okay, next up we've got another creation by question mark, but this is a little bit more exciting than an alarm clock. This is an AH64 Apache with some really, really awesome functions. Now it does say read the description first, but guys, I am a trained pilot in scrap mechanic. You need not worry about me. All right, so here it is. Now, as someone who has made quite a few helicopters in Scrap Mechanic, I absolutely love checking them out and flying them around and drawing some inspiration from other people's creations. Now, it seems here we do have some side-mounted missiles. I don't know if they're explosive or not. It does have a sensor on the end right there. We've also got a mounted turret on the bottom. Now, there are two seats inside of this helicopter. Now, I do believe the front one is for all of the combat gear, and then the one in the back is strictly for piloting it. So I think the first thing we're going to do is just quickly open this one right here. We've got a little button door here. And I think, is that the seat there? Okay, yeah, that's the seat right there. So let's just get a little view from in here. Now look at this, guys. This looks absolutely fantastic. Love the first person view. Now I won't be able to fly in this view because of the fact that there's two different seats with different functions. But let's see if we can kind of just try it down here on the ground. What does one do? Okay, one isn't doing anything. Now, two, three, four, and five might be the missiles. I'm going to try it out. Two. Okay, whoa. Oh, two is... I think two is camera controlled. Yeah, look at this, guys. Two is the camera controlled turret on the bottom. That is absolutely fantastic. But we're going to turn that off. Three might be the missile. Oh. Wow. That was really fast. So, yeah, that is definitely the missile. Now, I don't see them. Oh, no, they are exploding. Look at this. They shoot really fast and straight as well. That's really awesome. But all right, we're going to hop out of the main seat. Look at that. I love it. You can actually get out of the seat as well. That is always a nice bonus in a build. And here we go. We're going to get back here into the pilot seat. Like I said, guys, I need no training whatsoever. Now, how do I? I guess, can I just shut the door? We have to shut the door manually. Okay, there we go. Door is shut. Let's see if I know what I'm doing. I'm going to press 5. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. I know how to do this. We've got the helicopter f hovering. We got A and D, W and S. Oh yeah, this thing is extremely nimble. All right, hold on, hold on. What does one do? One is gonna bring us up, I had a feeling. And then two is gonna be down maybe? Yes it is, and then three and four are probably like strafing. Okay, very, very light strafing. And there we go. We now know how to fly the helicopter. This thing is really, really fast. Okay, hold on. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, jeez. So this is definitely a very, very zippy helicopter. It's really, really fast. It'd be kind of cool if I could shoot from the seat back here. Uh, but nonetheless, if you have a friend and you want to do some awesome helicopter teamwork stuff, this is the build for you. All right, so as per Moonbow video tradition, I have to do a really nice landing there we go we're gonna land down in this little quarry and it looks like we have a build from a previous episode of top of the shop that one there looks like yes there it is guys we've got ourselves speed racer crashed into the side of a cliff there we go we're gonna touch down nice and easy. Ah, perfect. And now, of course, it is my favorite part of the episode where we blow up the creation. We're gonna put some explosives on this helicopter here. And you know what? We might as well get rid of this build here. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to put enough explosives on this thing to blow it up properly, but we're gonna start with this one here. All right, there you go. See you later, Speed Racer. And I think, uh, yeah, you can see Speed Racer in another episode of Top of the Shop. And here we go, we are now going to destroy the helicopter. Alright, so coming up next is a beast of a creation. This is the Schurer Gustav. Now this is a German World War II railway gun. So this is something that would be on a rail. Now I don't have any rails in this world and it does say that they are not required. So we're going to try and build this thing in. Hopefully it doesn't lag the world. All right, so this build is absolutely massive. It's being supported on four little tiny wheels, and I'm actually getting some really good FPS, which is some awesome news here. But look at the size of this creation. I don't even know how to get up on board this gigantic train beast thing. Uh, there's got to be a step somewhere. All right, so I'm just going to use this right here as a step. Okay, there we go. Look at that, guys. We've got the vanilla pots being used as lights. How are there lights 
inside of this thing. What the heck? This must be like some glitch welded stuff. But that is absolutely insane. There's a light inside of the flower pot. Mind blowing stuff here, guys. All right, so we're gonna go up the stairs all the way to the top. Okay, look at this. This is the gigantic cannon. Now, where is the driver's seat? This looks so crazy. This kind of reminds me of like Wild Wild West with all the crazy pistons and contraptions and things. Now, I have no idea. What does this do? I'm just pressing it. Oh, okay. It's going down to the bottom. Is this like maybe like an ammunition thing? Oh, that's got to be what it is. And then you would like load it up right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We've already got one loaded in. But before we start shooting and driving this thing, let's just kind of see if there is anything down in the back there. Because I feel like there is more to this. Okay, oh, yeah. look at this, guys. We've got an interior section here just a little bit, I suppose. And I think that's what this would be. Like right here would be like the ammunition. And they load the ammunition onto this thing. And I guess... We're gonna be the ammunition. There we go, ammunition going this way. And there we go, we have reached our destination. All right, so that is really awesome. So let's see if we can't navigate our way out of here. Oh, look at that. That is some crazy steering. The whole part of the train moves. Now, like I said, guys, we don't have any tracks. We don't need them. And this thing actually goes quite fast for the size of it. I guess I was kind of expecting like a giant boat but realistically, I suppose it would be pretty quick. Now, here we go. We are cruising up out of the quarry. Now, what are we going to shoot at? We have to kind of have some type of target here. All right, so this is actually a great way to segue into the final build of today's episode of Top of the Shop. Now, this is an AT Missile Carrier 2 created by Mr. WTF. So, this is going to be a little bit of a battle between the giant missile train thing and the AT carrier. So let's spawn this thing in here. Let's take a quick look at it. Now this is actually all vanilla. I love pretty much every episode of Top of the Shop there is a vanilla build amongst all the other modded creations. So here we go. We've got okay a door that goes into it. The front of it here with some lights. So this is the firepower up here on top. Quite similar I suppose to the firepower inside of that thing there and a spare tire in the back. Okay, so I don't know if I'm on the right side of it here or not. Let's see, this is the side that controls these. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the driver's seat right here. We're gonna shut the door. Okay, here we go, guys. So this is it. This is gonna be this little AT vehicle and we're gonna try and take out a giant train, I suppose. Now, I don't think this is the actual seat that we wanna be in, uh, but you know what? We're gonna give this little vehicle first hit maybe it might be fair in this battle because that thing is way bigger so let's see here we're gonna hop into this seat now this is the one okay now we're controlling it so here we go on the broad side of the train in three two one here we go oh <laughs> okay that was the spud gun okay so we are aiming right at it i don't know what to press then two there we go there they launched amazing that was a direct hit okay i am getting a little bit of lag here. Let's see, maybe if we put that on the lift. Okay, no, I'm still getting a little bit of lag. Okay, I might have done too good of a job hitting this thing. Let's see if the train can retaliate, though. All right, here we go. We're going to load ourselves up as ammunition one last time. Press that switch. All right, here we go. Can we still move? Yes, we can still move. That is not a problem. I think we're going to have to back up here. Keep on backing up. Okay, the frames aren't too, too bad. I'm still managing to steer this thing without too many issues. We're going to line it up with the AT missile vehicle. Now, I have no idea what we're doing here, so I'm going to try and aim this up and down. Okay, there we go. Can we aim it down? This is actually really menacing. Oh, no. It stopped right there, guys. I think we're just going to have to take the shot and hope for the best. Here we go. Okay, no, that, okay, those are the ammunition things. Three is to open it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Firing. We're gonna miss. Nothing happened. Misfire. <laughs> it was a misfire. Oh, no. Well, I guess in this battle, the AT missile carrier has won this train 
kind of self-destructed a little bit there. I mean, I bet you we could probably still drive this thing if we really needed to. Uh, now, I'm going to do one final absolutely epic explosion. Now, I don't even know if this is going to crash my game. All right, here it is, the final epic explosion in three, two, one. The lag is really real. Did you see that? That was like a single frame holster. Okay, here we go. Blow up. Please, computer, survive. Whoa. There's so much happening right now. Alright, so that is today's episode of Top of the Shop. Let me know down in the comments which creation was your favorite. Now guys, if you did enjoy the build or the video, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you haven't already signed up for Endless Scrap Mechanic, then make sure you subscribe to the channel, hop into orbit, make sure you turn on notifications as well so you don't miss the videos or the live streams. So, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.